So for all entrepreneurs, all leaders, people who are occupying leadership positions, and um, uh, for people who want to become leaders in the future, a couple of points, quick points for all of you. See, first is to understand that leadership is not a privilege. It's a great responsibility. Responsibility to uh, make your teams become better, responsibility to fulfill their dreams, responsibility to make them go beyond the limitations, responsibility to make them become what they can become. It's not about having a designation on your card and you flashing that to your friends, to your to people at home or to your to society around that I become an AGM, I become a CEO, I become head of sales. It's not about that. Along with that designation comes a bag full of responsibilities. If we can understand that and be excited about those responsibilities rather than the position, I think we can be on the pathway of becoming great leaders. The second point is that leadership is all about change, dealing with change. And change requires tremendous energy. Change requires a lot of efforts. Change um, uh, invites a lot of insecurity. So a leader has to be capable of dealing that. Third, see leaders are not like uh, travel agents. Uh, travel agents are the ones where people go to and they ask, where should I travel? And the travel agents will come out from with their ideas, okay, you, should, can, you can go to Europe, you can go to US, you can go to so and so place. And these places, they have not been there themselves, but they will recommend. Leaders are like tour guides. They have been there, they have seen the place, they have experienced it, they know what works, what doesn't work. And they come back with that experience to share with, with future travelers that what they can do and what they can avoid. That's what le real leaders do. So le real leaders have faced situations. Real leaders have been there in the, in the thick and thin of things. They have been there and they, have, they, they come back with real damn experience. And from that experience, they share their wisdom to their subordinates. So three quick points for all of you. Number one, it's no more a privilege. Number two, you have to deal with change to bring in tremendous energy inside you. And third, see if you can go to places where you want your teams to go before they go. And then you come back as a source of inspiration for them. I'm sure you will be on a path of becoming a great leader. Namaste.